Are you easily distracted? Do you have an inner critic that will pick apart everything you write as you write it? Wish you had a way to make all that go away and just focus on writing? Stick around, this video is for you. In today's video, we are going to be going over a couple quality of life improvements for Obsidian. If you do a lot of long form writing or you need to stay focused for a long time, and you're easily distracted by all the interface elements or notifications or all the other files you could be doing. And this is going to be for you. It's three very simple plugins. We'll go through them step by step and put it all together. It will be comparable to Scrivener. So if you are used to that program and it's distraction free writing, this is essentially that, but in Obsidian. And I'll show you exactly what we're talking about. Here we have Scrivener. That's what we are looking at. Don't worry, I'll get into Obsidian here in just a minute. But this is what I want to show you is we put in a whole bunch of text and you can have this writing experience. But if we go right up here and click the full screen composition mode, you get a distraction free interface where there's nothing else going on. And you can type this way. And if you notice, the sentence I'm working on is the only one that is bright and everything else is out of focus so that I don't get distracted by everything else that's going on. And down here, we can change focus on just a sentence or uh, this particular line. Right, so there are a couple different ways that you can do this. I like paragraph. Um, and also, I like that when I hit enter, the cursor stays here in the middle and and I don't get lost in the bottom of the document. And I'm always just looking at the bottom of the screen. So I like to have where I'm typing stay in the middle, and that's called typewriter mode. And you can turn that off and you can see how it goes to the bottom and it's hard to see and it'll just stay there at the bottom. I don't like that. So we turn on typewriter and it's right there in the middle and you can stay just right there in the middle of your screen where it's comfortable to look at. So this is something I really like about Scrivener and we're going to build exactly this in Obsidian. So to do that, we hit escape and go back to Obsidian here, and we are back into the demo vault. Same as always, if you're wondering what plugins I'm using or how it got here, I'm using the same vault from the first Obsidian video I did, and every plugin that is present in the vault, I've done a whole video on it. So it, it's all there. So here, we will create a new note about distraction free typing and it's here I don't like stacked tabs uh, so this is here so it got a pretty good start of of getting distraction free because we can use the command palette and toggle left sidebar closed right sidebar closed and we we've got this going pretty well but as you can see, the cursor is way over here and, and it doesn't look quite the same. So we are going to use command comma and then go to community plugins and browse for plugins. And we are looking for typewriter mode. And this was updated 10 days ago. So that's great as of the time that I'm making this recording. So this is probably going to be the one that, that suits us best and has some pretty cool features here. So we install, enable, and then here are the release notes. Feel free to read through those and then go to options. So we do want to activate typewriter mode. That will mean that all these options that we're about to go through are enabled. And you want to di disable the plugin in Canvas. Yeah, sure. I don't really plan on using this in Canvas. We do want typewriter scrolling, so that's cool. The offset, I don't want it 
dead center in 50%, maybe I want it at 40% above halfway mark. And then only maintain typewriter offset when reached. So I, I like this because it lets you right at the top. And then as you get closer to that 40% down way, then it will stay there. And then everything else scrolls past it. So I like that. Um, without this, it looks weird because your document begins at the middle. And that just looks strange for me for some reason. One major reason why I've been able to work with the clients that I've been able to work with is I'm able to put out quality stuff like this video and websites and everything I do is just at that next level because I use phenomenal tools. Sure, a master can get more out of your tools than you can, but oftentimes if you invest in better tools or you know what works better than what you've found so far, you're able to put out higher quality stuff. So that way that elevates your whole brand. So to that end, if you would like to know all the tools that I'm using to make this video and all the content that I put out uh, publicly and personally and professionally, then go sign up at plusonecreator.com and you'll get the whole tool list of everything that I use and where you can get it. Now, this will be live for as long as I have it up. So go check it out, make sure you sign up so that you can get it yourself. Now, that's all I wanted to say back into the video. Do not snap typewriter with arrow keys. I do navigate with arrow keys quite a bit, so I do want that. And amount of lines above and below current line, we'll just leave that default. We do want to highlight the current line and I'll show you why here in just a minute. Um, and we'll leave it as a box and you could do an underline and you can play with how thick that underline is going to be with that toggle, but we'll just leave it as a box for now. And the current line highlight color and dark themes, we'll just leave that. Those are different kinds of gray and highlight current line only in focused note. And we, I'm going to leave that unchecked. We might check that a dim unfocused paragraphs. So yes, I do want the paragraphs I'm not in to be dimmed so that I can focus on just what I'm doing. Uh, paragraph dimming behavior in unfocused notes. Uh, do not dim any paragraph because um, I, I don't want that when I'm not writing. I want to be able to see everything when I'm reading. And then only activate after first interaction. We'll see what that does. And then we do want to limit maximum number of characters per line. And we'll put that maybe at 50 because when the note was there, the cursor was way over to the side. So I'm going to bring it to the middle so that it's not a long line length. And we'll, we'll look at this as well. And then, yeah, writing focus vignette. Sure. I don't know what all else that is. And we've got it. So this is the new way of typing. Let's see what happens when we hit a new line. So we just keep doing that, hit enter, and you can see that it dims and we are in a new paragraph. And let's throw in a whole bunch of a filler text so you can see that when I start scrolling it's going oh he's looking at the text so let's not make it dim and then when I click in and I can use the arrows it snaps into the oh he's back into writing mode so we can go through this way and this is a good way of keeping track we're looking at and there it is. Super simple. Now, what's interesting is that we still don't, we still have this header up here and all this stuff. So let's see if we can look at typewriter mode. We can toggle it on or off and we can do all sorts of on the fly um, settings 
here from the command palette so we don't have to go away we could just do it here in the command palette but let's toggle it off and see what happens it's all it's still doing the line length change so let's because you can see that it's only this wide instead of being the whole width of the the interface so let's go back to here and you can see that limit line width is still enabled so you can disable that close this and you can see now that it fills up the the whole width now if this isn't working for you there might be an other option that is interfering so we'll go back into settings and go to editor and under display readable line length might be checked and if that's checked, then you can notice that this is just a little bit wider than the 50 I had from typewriter mode, but it's not as wide as the full width of the editor. So with this enabled, let's go back to the typewriter view, typewriter mode, and then let's see if there's an interference. So we'll select that and close it. So now you can see it's still the same width because Obsidian is prioritizing the Obsidian level setting rather than the plugin level setting. And if that is confusing to you, then go watch my video about different themes and CSS snippets and uh, intercompatibility stuff. So I'll try to remember to link that up here in the video as well. So. If it's not as narrow as you want it to be in the typewriter settings, then go to editor, uncheck readable line length, then it should be as narrow or as wide as you want. So I actually kind of like the little bit more granular level control over how wide it is by putting this in here and now I can mess with what readable line length actually means instead of it being whatever Obsidian says it should be. So that's kind of cool. So I like it at 50 because that just seems to be like a, a nice width that, that I like. Now, there was something weird. Um, evidently, an update just went out or something, but in the the weeks that I had been working with this and um, using the focus. Let me toggle that on. There we go. It was, it was strange because every time I would type, the highlight element, this gray bar, would blink. Every keystroke, it would blink, and it would drive me bonkers. So I would actually turn that off, but then the, the whole thing would would blink so all of this text would blink every time i typed every single key so it's really really distracting so if you have that happen what i suggest is that we go back into the typewriter settings and we only enable typewriter scrolling and we can change the offset and we use this plugin just for keeping the cursor in the line entry there in the middle-ish area. And we turn off highlighting current area. And we turn off dimming paragraphs. And we can leave limit um, line widths and, and do that. So now um, it looks like this. But what if we wanted focused mode again. Well, we're going to go back into community plugins, browse, and look for this one still with an E. It might be steel. I, I don't know. It was updated nine months ago, and we install that and enable that, go into the options, and here the opacity level for unfocused text. This uh, 0.3 would be 30%. Um, if it were one, that would be a hundred percent opaque. So 
30% means that it is 70% transparent. It's only 30% visible. And, and that's it. So you can play around with these. But now when we go back in here in the command palette, we've got toggle steel. And now it's focused, but it's now getting the job done through another plugin, but the typewriter plugin is still keeping the data entry here in the middle where we want. So that's kind of cool that if this one plugin is not working with Obsidian quite right in that one element of it, we can turn off that element and the way it handles it there and then use another plugin to handle that part of the writing experience that we want. So the fact that the, the typewriter mode is not glitching out um, I'm going to turn that back on and let's do actually an underline and we'll make it too thick. I don't see what the difference is. And also let's go back and turn off steel. Um, oh, we got to do that from community plugins search here and we'll turn it off. I'm not going to un uninstall it because I might need to reactivate it later but we still don't have quite exactly the same writing experience because we still have a lot of distractions in our interface. So how do we do this? Well, I could um, go full screen like function F and it would take up the, the whole screen, but we would still have the header and interface elements to look at. So here we're going to go back into our community plugins, browse, and then go full screen focus mode. So this was three years ago, but it still seems to work well. So we're going to install it and enable it. And if you wanted to add a hotkey like command shift F, you could go to hotkeys and do that. Or if we exit out of here again, Command palette is, is everything you want. Full screen mode, full screen focus mode. Hit enter. And now we are into a pretty, pretty minimal, minimal interface here. And now we can type to our hearts content. And it looks like it's not dimming because I forgot to turn on dimming and yeah you can see that this highlighter is is weird but you know all all good it's not a fatal flaw by any means so we we are highlighting the current line and we do want to dim unfocused paragraphs so that's cool and yeah that should there we go Okay, and those are the three that I wanted to show you, and I'll talk about some of the other elements and kind of go back through some of those bullet points on the good camera. So what do you think? Are you going to be installing these and setting them up for your long form writing? I am super curious to know how you're going to make use of it, or if you've tried it, or if you know of a plugin that's better than those that I showed you, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And also don't forget to like the video. That's the best way to let YouTube know that other folks like you, uh, creators, writers, and productivity enthusiasts should see this video as well. So thank you so much for making it this far. If you'd like to take the journey even farther, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. That will help you stay up to date on new videos and topics that I cover. And if you have any suggestions for those too, hit me up in the comments as well. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you can change your mind, you can change your life.